gold, but they leave your rigs intact. Yeah, well... Give it a shot. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. against Father Logan. Ill may to rest his soul. But his methods... Never hurt him. him. We had nothing to do with his death. I'm still on swearing. That he was under scrutiny. Watch your step inside the temple. One of the priests got cut to ribbons and they're looking for someone to blame. How big they were. I'll give them a piece of my mind. It's not for us to decide who deserves El Mater's grace. Why not? If we loved Father Logan as you did, we would never hurt him. He has nothing to... I brought my own paring knife. Well, are we ready for the road once more? <laughs> Aurin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. And I was so busy telling you not to take her bait that I scarcely felt the hook in my own mouth. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me. What do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? Your ruined brain lurches and bilious intestines squirm. A hero, an enemy most foul.
or a stalwart friend to one? That depends entirely on the Balspawn. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far, but it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago. Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? <laughs> Gortash, do you mean? Those metal hunks do not obey a man who sees reason. There is no negotiating with the dead gods is chosen. They know only the language of punishment and pain. To make Baldur's Gate a safe haven, We'll first need to bathe Gortash and Orin in their own blood. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight, at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds, as she floated the second time. Stelmane was even with the aid of a cane. Each step she took, a stroke victim. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. I couldn't say, but think about this. My father was tadpole, Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. 
These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Hey, soldier. Bloody fingerprints are all over this city. This hammer. This is the key. This is the means by which the traitor Prince Orpheus can be freed. And we will make it the means of his killing. That smug shkaketh of a devil stores it at his vaunted house of hope. Our destination is clear. Our mission undeniable. We must find a way into the House of Hope and retrieve the hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use it to smash Prince Orpheus out of his prison and then tear his vile head from his body. Mighty Vlacketh, undying regent, hear my promise. The false prince will fall and the age of Vlacketh will be eternal. The tadpole reveals your mind to Lazelle. She knows you refuse to bargain with Raphael. We cannot slay the traitor prince unless we loose him from his astral prison. The means to do so was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent, he who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles, the devil who slayed his own son, he whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up, but there's another option. All glory to Vlacketh. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If we can find a way in, we can take it. I'll use it to smash the Chuez bonds and then slice him open on the spot. Wrench the Orphic hammer from Raphael's grasp. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword. Keeping very well, I hope. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. His I fought proudly alongside Harpers once, but it seems we cannot place our trust in them now. Not while Orin has their ranks infiltrated. What would you like to know? Anytime. Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as... Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. Grim turn. Thy weird. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh. What's hiding here? Thank you. 
twice over. You carry geek parasites, and you harbor the heretic Prince Orpheus. Glorious Flakith, I am unclean. I exhort you, grant me guidance. Hear my words, Vinisk. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism! Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. Kneel before me, make your promise. Your parasites resonate. You feel Lazelle's ecstasy as she moves to kneel before her queen. And surely, Vlakith is my faith, my... my very purpose. Lazel's mind reels with images of Vlakith, the prism, and the Githyanki prince inside it. Mother Gith's son lives, caged by a prison of your design. Our people deserve the truth, but you have denied it to us. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. I brought my own pe
You turned my eyes to the truth. Vlakit's forsaken me, and there's no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea, never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. to know me but in truth she didn't take everything i have what i have gathered for myself i'm more to a new regent a new land and new allies vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists and so from the old battle cries is birthed another Tremar salar orpheus must still now forge an inyeri orpheus's will above all May the comet blaze my path forward! Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. We take the Orphic Hammer from Raphael's lair. Orpheus Tafki Nazin. What about him? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlaketh's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. With this heat going, I can't spare the energy to think. Ugh. I just... <laughs> anyway, it could be worse. I mean... We just played host to an undying queen. Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplay. But should Great Vlakith come to settle a score with undying or not? She was very loud. <sighs> there might be, but let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had... A 
so, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. I'm all pointy ears, my love. Uh, I... Uh, uh, we must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. Glad to see I'm not the only... Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go on. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakith. But all things considered, good for her. So, it seems that Vlaketh is Lazel's queen no longer. That took no small amount of backbone. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maidens. Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't. my business partner, 
back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate the offer, but I don't think it will help. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Raphael must keep the Orphic Hammer in his so-called House of Hope. Now. To find out. Vlakith's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons. Not since Vlakith. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The. I brought my own... This whole situation stinks. Guild robbers are usually decent the steel enough. Watch they take your gold, but they leave your bench attached. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. By allowing his faithful to suffer the most.
Tara looks familiar. Does this cut belong to Gale? You notice the Tressum guards a shiny ring and stack of letters at its feet. She doesn't seem to mind. You take the ring without so much as a mew. to live in more interesting times. Don't waste a step. What do you remember? Eye color, hairstyle, accent, anything. I barely enough coppers left to eat. These particular red caps caged. We had an unfortunate incident involving a child's fingers. <sighs> Cheap and cheerful. Refugees for hire. Catchy, right? That's why we need to walk just a little more. One foot in front of the other. You've been seeing that for days. Enough to clean Crimson's cage. He wants to teach them. But not enough to organize, right? Now, the